Hello, 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 you guys. Lots changed in the like week since I filmed. Um, step one, I have bangs now. That was like an impulsive decision. I don't really know honestly why I made this decision, but it feels right. I think it doesn't look bad. I don't know. I keep going back and forth. Like one day I'm like, I love it. And then the next day I wake up and I'm like, why the hell did I do that? So, um, please don't say anything mean about them because I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know really how to style them. I've never had bangs before. So I'm just figuring out what to do with them exactly. I don't know, they're very wispy bangs, also like curtain bang-esque. So I can like pull them apart, I can scrunch them together, I can curl them up, they can lay flat across my face. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, but they're, they're here to stay for a minute because I just chopped them, but I digress. So currently it is the Tuesday before Thanksgiving right now and I'm on the couch and I am trying to get the will to go pack. So I figured if you guys came along with me, maybe I would actually get it done tonight. I really, really don't wanna just throw things in a suitcase tomorrow morning and then have a mental breakdown when I get there because I'm missing something important. And where my boyfriend's family lives in Wisconsin, it's like decently remote. So there isn't like a target I can go run to and get things. So <laughs> I need to pack and also I need to shoot a little content while I'm there. And it's also Black Friday this week, which is like the Influencers Olympics and also just like the Shopaholics in Olympics. So honestly, very, very stressed about this. And my bangs, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the viewfinder. What are they doing? You guys, I don't know what to do with them. I don't know. Did I make it? Did I make a mistake? <sighs> Okay, making them okay, making them more PC. Maybe. It's the gap right here for me. But anyways, I need to pack tonight, so you're gonna come do it with me. So let let's hop into it, I guess. Woo! And honestly, we're a little concerned there's a big chance we're going to miss our connecting flight. So we're flying from LA to Dallas and then Dallas to Wisconsin. And it, the layover, so basically, actually we were gonna fly out on Thanksgiving because this week's been hectic for me and with him with work, so we figured it'd be better to be in LA. But um, our Thanksgiving flight was just like not ideal. We were gonna leave here at like 5 a.m. I think and then get there at like two-ish, I wanna say, and that was gonna be like a mess. So instead we were able to move our flight to being tomorrow, so Wednesday, but um, Will made the flight change on his own and didn't realize that like, the layover time, although it's set as like an hour, is actually like 25 minutes max. So there's a really good chance we're gonna miss our flight. And if so, then we're just gonna like call my dad and stay at his place for the night and take a 5 a.m. flight to Wisconsin, which we are manifesting that not to occur, but basically our stuff may end up on that flight. So either way, I was gonna bring a carry-on bag, but I need to like strategically pack this because I need to make sure that everything in my carry-on is things that like, if I need to go without this bag, I guess I can. I don't know, Will's convinced that the bag's gonna get lost. So going well. And also we need to like bring a Christmas present. We need to be able to bring back a Christmas present. I don't mean to sound that whiny. It's just a weird situation. And like, we're all stressed here. I'm stressed, Will's stressed, everyone's stressed. And I manifest my stress on whining. <laughs> So I think step one is the clothes. I kind of pre-plan my outfits a little bit and then I need to grab the shoes, grab the outerwear or grab the warm weather accessories and then grab hair and makeup and figure out how to make it all work. Yeah, yeah, go team. But actually no, step one is gonna be lighting a candle. This one is brand new and it is from my friend's company, Cosmic Mood Juice. Olivia Obaseki owns it and I haven't, I haven't lit any of them yet. So this is the star. They came in yesterday and it smells like like, I don't know, like brown sugary, I don't know, like cookie-esque. And I need this energy right now. So let's light her up. It's like a wooden wick too. I don't really know how I'm supposed to light this, to be honest with you. I'm a Bath and Body Works candle girly. I'm not always like a artisanal candle girly. So I'm, I'm learning, but she's cute old um, iridescent holder, which is so cute. I put it behind me, but I don't know why, but I have this fear I'm gonna light my hair on fire and like burn it all off. So um, we're not gonna do that. We'll start with the Thanksgiving fit. So I am thinking just, I didn't think this through, honestly. So maybe I'm gonna go with this Harry Potter sweater. Mm. I almost lit my sweater on fire. This was really expensive. I literally had this made by somebody, this lady on, on Etsy from Russia. Um, but yeah, she like handmade this for me um, and I had to make it with custom measurements because she didn't have my size. She was very nice about it. So I think I'm gonna wear this guy because it's baggy and cozy and comfy and I can like bake in it and stuff. I think I'm gonna make a pie. Like I make a really good apple pie. So I always make that for Thanksgiving and that is what I contribute. I don't know what skort should go with it. I have this gray one and then I have this khaki one. 
They're both from Garage Clothing and they both like are covered, so I like it, but they're still short and cute. I'm thinking gray, but is that too school uniform related? I don't know, it's only the family this year, like the immediate family, it's not like a big thing this year, so I think it doesn't matter that much. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go sport. It's super cute. So that mostly covers Thursday. I still need to bring comfy clothes and stuff. But then jumping to Saturday, we I have to wear whatever I'm wearing the entire day. We're leaving Wisconsin, driving three hours, going to Chicago, taking my boyfriend and his sister, I think, to doctor's appointments. So I'm just vibing for that experience. And then we're going to a nice dinner, and then we're going to the airport. So I need a comfortable outfit that can fit all the scenarios pretty much. So Abercrombie leather pants, they are my favorite thing. They're just so comfortable. They always look good. So these are just... I think they look nice, but also feel really comfy. And honestly, for the drive, I'm just gonna have them unbuttoned. Let's just be honest here. And then do you think this looks good with that? It is just this, where is it from? It's C2020. Okay, it was called C2020. It's now called Pumli, Pumli? I I can link it. It's on Amazon, it's like 25 bucks. It's a really good skim stoop. It's like a really soft, buttery material. But I'm thinking this bodysuit, long sleeve, it's warm, it's cozy, and again, it's comfy, it's stretchy, but pretty cute. So. We're gonna, we're gonna throw her in there, yeah? Stuff her on in. And then the bulky things. If you saw my last video, the haul video, this is the last item in that. It's this big teddy, like, quarter zip from Revolve, from LPA there, and I, I love her. She is so soft and cozy, very oversized. It says chow on the back. So we're gonna bring the big pullover. I think it would be really cute over the bodysuit with leather pants. I think I'm also gonna bring a different bodysuit just in case I decide I don't wanna wear this one. So good like over the top thing in case it's cold. Well, it's gonna be cold, but like in case I don't wanna wear like a jacket jacket. And then, I don't know, it could be cute with a skirt if I need to like switch things up. So it just feels correct. But wow, that takes up a quarter of the suitcase. So on Friday, so day two, um, I think we're just lounging around the house and I think some like extended family is going to come by and like we're just going to chit chat. But I also really want to take a snowy Instagram picture. This is an outfit I talked about again in my last video about how I, just, I need to go somewhere snowy, take a picture in this fit. But um, I'm going somewhere snowy, so I'm bringing the fit. So this fit is from PLT and it's this like jacket that's ruched and then leggings that I have laying under it on the hanger. But I think it's smart to put this in the other bag so that way if this all gets lost, I have like a, I have an outfit. I have something that's comfy to bring with me. So that's going over there for now. But to go with that fit, I need to bring, I need to bring something extra. I need the big puffer vest, which is so cute and so extra, but also like I have no room in here. So we're, we're gonna stuff her in there while I still need to bring shoes, hair stuff, makeup. Okay, okay, wait. It's a puffer. I think I can like get a big chunk of the air out of it. I'm like rolling it up. I don't know if this is smart, but we're just gonna, okay. Tell me why the suitcase is already full and not even just full, but overflowing. Good, good. So our first fun little add-on. I was just sent this today. It's a bodysuit from Pinty Shapewear. It's like a t-shirt, but it's shapewear. So it's super stretchy. You don't need a bra with it. It snaps your waist. And I feel like after Thanksgiving, this could be kind of nice to like make me feel like Bella Hadid. So I really like this. I'm wearing an XL in this and I actually modeled this for them. So if you want to go look on the website, your girl is on there. But I actually think I may have, I may have potentially vlogged that day. I don't remember if I did or not, but that was, that's a fun shoot. A really fun team and I love their stuff. I'm having the Black Friday sale right now too. And I have a code with them. I can go put it down below. I think it's really just my name, but their stuff is really great. I have multiple their bodysuits and it was so nice in this and that. So we have that in there. I think that could be good with leather pants. That could be cute with the skirt. That's not bad. Yeah. Tell me this isn't the cutest scarf you've ever seen. It is this fun lime green. It's super soft. It's from Target and it was it was $15. It's so cute. And I got it for this trip, but I don't feel like it matches anything that I'm bringing. So should I still bring it? Nah, I don't know. It's so cute though, but I don't think I'm going to wear it realistically. Okay, next up, we're going to stuff all of my pajamas, bras, socks, all of that. And then like my extra hair goodies I know I don't need tomorrow on in here. I wonder if he has any room on his side I could use. Anyways, the hair things I don't need tomorrow, but I am going to bring is one, this got to be beach mat. So I'm going to bring the Dyson, um, like curler, um, 
it's the only way I know how to do my bangs right now, honestly. So I'm just not going to mess with what's working. So I need this so I can get my blowout to hold. So I'm going to bring this guy. So stuff her on in. And then also Gia, my hairdresser, picked up some more dry shampoo for me. And I don't know if I can put this in my carry-on or not. So we're going to Google that. But this is the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I've never tried it. But the reason Gia got this for me was basically I was the biggest fan of the Not Your Mother's Beach um, dry shampoo for years. Like I think the last almost 10 years that's been my dry shampoo and recently came out that that is has like the most carcinogenic things in it. So I don't I don't want cancer in my, my scalp. So we're not using her anymore. So trying this guy out. I also recently got the dry bar one. I really like that one. The scent just lasts a little bit longer than I would like it to but it's still pretty good but I'm gonna bring the Amika perk up. So I don't know where this is gonna go yet. So she's gonna hang over here. Maybe not next to the candle because that could blow up, yeah. I feel like I just sound so dumb sometimes, but it's okay. You're, you're, you're there with me, yeah? I'm also bringing Olaplex number eight, my moisture mask. I, I've i never tried this. Another thing Gia just kind of handed to me, but I know I'm gonna wash my hair when I'm there. So I might as well try it. And my boyfriend's mom is a hairdresser. So if I screw something up, she can help me fix it. So. But we're gonna bring this guy too. Stuff her on in. Y'all, I'm such a bad packer. I really just kind of stuff important things in the corner so they're easy to grab, but um, it just all kind of goes in the middle. And you would think I travel a lot and I still pack like this. Like you would think I learned my lesson, but no. And then onto pajamas, I've recently decided that I am a pajama girly. I've never been in my entire life, but now I can't not sleep in a matching, matching pajama set, especially when you're somewhere like, what if a fire alarm goes off in the middle of the night and you run out of the house? You don't want to wear something stupid. Like, it's my boyfriend's family. I don't want to. I don't want to look dumb. I don't want to be like in a big t-shirt and underwear. So I grab these Skims little boxer brief shorts that I love. They're so comfortable. And then just a little tank that matches that is inside out. And I have an XL in these. And I love them. They're so comfortable. One of my favorite things to sleep in. And then also bringing this set from Victoria's Secret, which. You guys, Victoria's Secret has really stepped up their game. They're way more size inclusive now. They fit me so well. And their sleepwear is so incredible. Like a, These are like a waffly knit. And it's like a shorts with a long sleeve top. And I'm obsessed. I sleep in them constantly. It is my driving force to doing laundry right now. I'm not even playing. Like, so cute and comfy. So yeah, I hope if there's a fire, this is what I'm wearing. Because it's cute and respectable. <laughs> And then just in case I'm cold, I'm also grabbing this long sleeve pajama shirt. This is from Katia. I think that's what you say it. They're just pajama company. I think they're based in Germany, actually. They sent me a bunch of pajamas and they're so comfortable, but I feel like I'm going to want not pants for this trip. So their house still is pretty warm. So we're going to bring the long sleeve just in case I'm an extra little chit -a chili. How am I going to fit shoes in here? What have I done? But also I do need to show you what, oh my God, it's not in here. Oh no, I thought the blanket was in here. Where the hell is the blanket? So I'm a little concerned. I got my boyfriend's mom's Barefoot Dreams blanket for Christmas in like the color palette of her home. And I've had it for a minute and I thought we put it in the suitcase. I don't think it's in here. So I don't, I don't really know what to do. I guess I'll just wait for Will to get home and hopefully he knows where it is. But if not, I'm gonna be upset. Oh my gosh, I hope we find it. Okay, we're gonna find it. We're gonna find it. But I think this suitcase is kind of full. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear my chunky Uggs on the plane. Um, the Ugg minis, the platform that are just my favorite thing I own. So I think I'm going to wear those on the plane. And then I will just throw a pair of Nikes in my, and then I think I'll just throw a pair of Nikes in my carry-on bag. So that way we have that to bring with us. I'm not going to, I'm not going to close this up. We are just going to slide it. Oh, that went further than I thought it would. Cool. You guys, there's an ever so slight chance this is not as bad as I thought it was and I was being dramatic because I think I'm gonna be okay. Like, it's only three days, yeah? I'll be fine. So this is my pink base little carry-on suitcase that I love more than almost anything else. I got it during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but I think the color is actually out now and I've been meaning to buy the like big daddy suitcase. It's just, it's cute. So first I'm gonna throw some, some clothing in. So that way I'm not clothing less when I'm there in case my suitcase gets lost. It seems like I did kind of put all the bulky stuff in the suitcase. So this actually like made it pretty light. I'm just gonna pack my Nike Air Maxes in here. I love these. 
Honestly though, I did break them in when I was at Disney World. I had never worn them before that. And I was like, oh, let's break them in while I'm walking six miles a day, seven miles a day. And um, that hurt, but they are fully broken in now. Trust me, but I didn't get any blisters. So I was very impressed by that. My feet did hurt. Like I woke up and my feet would still hurt. I would like to pack my makeup now, but I also know that I need to get glam tomorrow morning to shoot some stuff. So we're just gonna do that tomorrow. So we're just gonna leave space for the big makeup bag. We got the makeup wipes, got a little clippy. We're just gonna put that in my shoe, I guess. Although I am bringing the Dyson, honestly, with the bangs, I'm not gonna deal with like if the Dyson gets lost. So I'm gonna bring a little curling iron. This is a one and a half inch from Hot Tools. And honestly, it's on its last leg. We had to spray WD-40 on the hinge of it recently because it was just making the worst sound. But now when it's on, um, it smells like burning WD-40. So maybe don't do that, just, just a thought. <laughs> And then I have my Skims fold over lounge pants and these are just that like lounge dress material that are so great. And these were on the Nordstrom site. These have been sold out on the Skims site forever. But if you look on the Nordstrom site, sometimes they randomly have things that aren't in stock on Skims anymore. Like they bought a stock and it goes live a couple weeks later and I found these there and they only had a couple sizes left, but love these. They're incredible. And then we have just a sweatshirt, this little manatee sweatshirt I got in Florida. Um, basically I'm only going to bring light colored sweats that I've like had for a while because, um, something embarrassing happened to me last year at Thanksgiving. I brought a brand new pair of good American sweats that I had already washed once. And so I thought I got all like pills and weird stuff out of them. Like the, when it balls up a little bit, it like sheds. Um, but that was not the case. So I only brought one pair of sweats and we were there for a week. Um, and every time I would go anywhere, I would leave a trail of like little like balled up fuzz basically and it was so embarrassing you just always knew exactly where I had been but I didn't want to wear jeans because it was Thanksgiving and your girl was feeling chunky and it just wasn't the vibe but like truly I felt so embarrassed the entire time I was leaving a trail of fuzz everywhere and at first I didn't know it was me and so my one friend's mom was like hey there's something weird like on the bathroom floor anyone know what that was and I was like no it was me I was leaving it in the kitchen. I left it in the bathroom. It was everywhere. Every time I changed my clothes, especially, it was like come out everywhere like a puff. But yeah, so I'm paranoid now. So I was gonna grab my Savage sweats, but those do something similar a little bit. I don't know why. So we're not we're not gonna mess with it this time. We're gonna bring something I've washed one thousand times. I'm not gonna leave any fuzz anywhere. <laughs> and since this dry shampoo was one point eight ounces, I can bring it with me. So we're gonna throw her in here, and then we're gonna have makeup. We're gonna have the Dyson in there, and. I think we're okay. I have room in here that I can throw the Christmas present in here. And I thought this would be more chaotic, but for once it's like not bad. I'm, I'm shocked. So this is what I'm bringing with me for three days in Wisconsin. I'm also going to grab my laptop and throw it in my big tote bag, bring chargers, bring my Nintendo switch because we have a long flight with layovers. So I'm just not going to mess with it. I'm going to bring entertainment. <laughs> my boyfriend's known to just like rewatch like Goodfellas or something and I really want to watch that so I'm gonna bring my own source of entertainment because we don't need a man we don't need to depend on anybody else we will bring our own video games <laughs> yeah I think I'm ready for Thanksgiving maybe oh coat I need I need a coat <laughs> so I actually have no idea what coat to bring so I'm gonna try them on and I don't know if I'll be posting this in time for you to tell me what I should do but you'll tell me later if I was wrong you'll let me know if I was dumb <laughs> so first I have this faux leather moto jacket from ASOS and it is in a size US 14 I love this jacket I love this jacket it's a little oversized I wore this to London earlier this year and also in New York and I just it's cute, it's basic, it's oversized. It could be great with a sweater, but is it too light? But also I have that big pullover that is very warm. So I have options for warmth. But is it dumb to choose a jacket for style when I'm there for three days with family? Next up we have this one from Good American and something I actually modeled for them last year. It's like a, it's like a, like a water resistant e-material. I don't know how to explain it, but it feels very sporty. It's cropped and it's coming off the hanger, but it has a hood on it. I am wearing a size three, four in this. This one feels more like a traditional like puffer winter jacket. It's a little bit big, so it's nice and comfortable and warm. It's very warm, it has a hood. It's a reasonable choice, but is the purple too wild and like not in the color palette that I brought with me? I feel like everything I brought is pretty neutral. But also my t-shirt, I know you were all wondering the entire time, is from Rue 21 and it's six Spice Girls, which if you guys know me, I'm a big Spice Girls fan. Like the first time I went to the UK was to go see the Spice Girls live. I will be seeing them next year on their rumored world tour if they go. It's my thing. 
Then we have option number three. It's from Aloe. It's like a Sherpa E jacket. Has removable hood. It's in a size large, and honestly, it's a little tight on me, but it's cute. I did bring this one last year. It did keep me warm, and it feels like it just. It feels a little looser this year, actually. That's weird. I really like this. It's cute, it has a hood, and I think it would contrast nicely if I don't really have anything bright with me. I have mostly darker tones. And then this is one of my favorite things I own. It is my favorite vintage find of all time. I got this in a thrift store in Philly when my boyfriend was actually working for NFL Films. I went to go visit him when he was interning there and we went thrift shopping. I found this, I got it for like $25, I think. And on the tag, it literally says equipment NFL, which I think is so, so, so cool. By the way, if it's not apparent, I am wearing pants. I'm wearing biker shorts, just so we're clear. But here's the jacket in all of her glory. I, I love it. I really actually like this for like going out with like a black mini dress and some black boots. I just think it looks so fun, but also it did used to be bigger on me. Um, it felt more oversized and now it fits a little, a little better. It's still oversized, but just fits a little bit more. I do love it and it is stupid warm. Like this thing is meant to keep you warm throughout a full football game. I was literally standing there for the last like 10 minutes. I saw <laughs> you take the coat, walk in front of the camera, put it on the camera, wait a minute, put it on <laughs> and talk again. I was like, do I come in when she's putting it on? No, she's probably gonna use that cut. So I didn't come in then. I wait until you walk out of frame entirely. Wow. Look at me go. It smells good in here. What are you burning? Candle. It's Olivia candle. It smells like caramel little popcorn. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. What's your channel called? Is it Julia Barrett? Mm hmm The vlogs are Julia Barrett, just in general. Julia Barrett. Do you have like a is do you have like a name for your fans? Are they like Barretties or I don't have fans. Barrett bits? I like Barrett bits. Like bacon bits? Kind of. Barrett bits. <laughs> well, let's not do this. I don't have fans. Julia stop. Stados, like Tostitos, like Tostadas. I like it. Hi Will. Hi Barrett bits. Please stop. I think your camera stopped recording, didn't it? No. No. It's recording. Oh, okay. The light's on. Alright. Well, hi, Barrett Bits. I've been waiting outside. Can you see this door? No. I've been waiting outside this door. They heard door. you. They heard you. Heard me what? Tell you your whole bit. Oh, they heard me already? Yeah. Alright. You didn't make words. You went, hello, oh, alright? Alright, bye, Barrett Bits. Bits of Barretts. Bitty Barretts. Barrett Bitties. Barrett Bitties! I like Barrett Bitties. But anyways, um, I'm gonna bring the aloe jacket I wore last year. It kept me warm. It's cute. We're not, we're, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So that's coming with me. I know I'm probably forgetting something, but I think we're packed. I wishful thinking, but I think we are packed. So I guess we'll call it here. Um, in the morning, I am gonna pack up my Dyson makeup and all the toiletries and stuff like that and throw it somewhere i think in the pink bag there's a lot of room in there but also we got to figure out where the blanket is and where the heck that's going so problem for future julia yeah our flight leaves la at like 3 30 we're gonna land in wisconsin at like 11 so we have a big 24 hours ahead of us so wish me luck and i will talk to you guys soon so happy thanksgiving you guys if you celebrate and i hope you have a great day i hope it's not stressful i hope there's no family drama i hope it's incredible so thank you guys for watching and thank you for watching me pack you made this 100 times more entertaining because i was going to do this tomorrow morning and that was not, not a vibe not a vibe so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video so bye guys <laughs> quick ending note here um we found the blanket we never we? pulled it. we found the blanket yeah okay. we deducted that we found it okay we found the blanket um is my memory going because i thought we had a whole conversation about said blanket and it doesn't sound like we did so um if i if you never hear from me again it's because i forgot how to use youtube so nice knowing you guys i'm all see you in my next video